Alright guys, Blue Avenger. Right. This is an unexpected video today. I was planning to be going out on a trip this today. But or oh, I'm almost meant to be coming back today. I should really say, because this is going up on Thursday. Today's Wednesday, so yeah, I was supposed to go out today, but Dolby Dog's not very well. So I'm not gonna force the situation, so things like that. So let's move on, shall we? Today I'm gonna go for my new and improved inch white okay. kit. It's a lot smaller, as you can see. It's in one of these black pouches, Molly pouches, as you can see there. There's the Molly. I do apologise about the light because the window's there and I can't close the curtain so you won't be able to see me completely. So yeah. I'm gonna turn you around and I'll go through it. But before I do that, I want to show you say make sure you before someone asks how do I know this is my fire kit because I've got one of these for my hygiene kit as well as one for another kit as well. And that's how I can tell it's for my fire kit, a little forward on the zipper hole. So I'm gonna turn you around and I'll go for it. So check it out and enjoy it guys. See you in a second. <laughs> Welcome back guys, right, thank you for staying along, right, okay, as I said before, there's the fair ward on the zip, not a very big pouch as you can see compared to the old inch fire kit, I will put it up in one of these two corners, I don't know which one it would be, I don't know if it would be this one or this one, but it would be one of them, so you can check that out, there would be a, I think it's a poll video, so you can Check that out as well if you could, please. It would be most appreciated. So, let me go for this kit, shall we? Okay, as I said, there's only one zipped into this. It's not very full. As you can see, I can still fit a lot more in here. If you could recommend anything, please do. And the, another thing as well, guys, I'm still doing the labels on, these, on this kit. So, please bear with me on that, because at the end of the day, I like to put... I want to make sure the labels are done. Like that. I've got more sorted out. I've just run out of sort of like um, sticker paper. So yeah. On the top, as you can see, I do have a frontal lens. I do have more than this in my bag. In my, as you know, in my bag, I don't have anything in the bottom of my rucksack anymore. Firewise, everything else is in here or in my fire kit, apart from frontal lens because I like to have my frontal lenses. Just, in my first aid kit, hygiene kit, all that lot. So yeah, you can even see me in the background. See, wow, didn't realise that. But it's a nice pencil lens. Now, this is fat rope stick. I have broke it down because I thought I don't really need to carry a full one because that was just too heavy and that was just too bulky. And at the end of the day, I don't really need it. So that's that one there. A lot of this, guys, you're going to see it's tinder. From this pouch, so yeah, as you can see, got some fatwood. Everybody loves fatwood, so there's that one there. And the next one, I have some magnesium. Just making sure that focuses. There we go. There's some magnesium. Love this stuff. Highly recommend it. And I love these four bags because they're so. Fantastic for other things. This one here, not many people put in their bag, but I like to have it now. I do. Ha I have got some of this going into my normal fire kit, and that is some my dust. But my my dust has got sap in it with it, so it's half. No, three quarters of that wood. One quarter Midas. I make it myself. So, yeah. If you want to know how I make this, just give me a shout in the video. That'll be up one of the um, pole. That'll be on one of the poles up in the corner, one of the corners. So, yeah, that's that one there. Everybody's most common thing everybody knows about. 
It's cotton balls and petroleum jelly. I don't know. I can't remember how many's in here, guys. I've done this one so many times. I've done. I've had this one so long. I can't remember now. They still work, yes, because I've got another patch I opened up the other week to use to try out to make sure they're still working, and they do. So, yeah. There's that one there. As you can see, there's a lot of tinder in this kit. Oh, not tinder now. We've gone into matches. These are strike anywhere matches. There is a few, I think there's four packs of 20 in here. Or four packs of twenty of matches. They are the strike anywhere matches. They are fantastic. The reason I've done that is because it makes life so much easier. Then I'm not looking for somewhere to stick the matches afterwards when I've used them. I know there's twenty in that one of those little four bags inside this four bag, but then I can put those matches back into this four bag and go from there. So I got matches. I have got some more different types of matches. I've got some stormproof matches here. As you can see. So yeah, there's them there. And I think I have two packs in here, two or three packs in here as well. There's not as many as in there. I think there's ten, maybe ten or fifteen in each one of these. Or maybe not even that. I think there's about ten or twelve, one or two, I can't remember. But yeah. So there's them there, and the strikers with that one, as you can see. I should have really finished off the um, Tinder, but never mind. I do have one of these spark wheels, one of these SOL spark wheels with the Tinder tabs. So, yeah, this did come in a different pouch. This did come into a bigger pack that came with 20, 20 of these ones or 22 of these Tinder quicks, but I've had to I split it down because I wanted it more organised and taking up less room. So there's something there. As you can see, guys, I'm actually running out of room now. There's a lot of stuff in here. Going to Tinder. This is some natural, normal fire starters, what you could do barbecues with, but these are 100% natural. So I thought I'd put the gift. I like these. I do use them some most of the time if it's wet or if it's windy. So there's them ones there. Another piece of tinder I do use quite a bit if I'm using my um, fire piston or my flint and steel or solar. I do like to use a bit of amadou. So that's that one there. That would be up in that pole one as well. I know I need to put the label on that one, that one, and that one so far. And that one. This is just some shavings. I don't. I just did this the other day. I just thought I'll add some shavings, but I think this is from the um, same company who does the fat wood stick. I think this is the wax wood stick. If I remember rightly, I don't know if this is going to stay in there or what. I haven't decided yet, but I just got bored, so I thought I'd see how good my new piece of kit is. And so yeah, and I like what I was doing. So yeah. That one there. Right, there's not much left back in the, in the bag now, guys. I'll show you inside the bag. As you can see, there's not much left. I do have a six. Um, is it six? I think it's a five inch by half inch bell rod with a bit of duct tape at the end of it. As I said before, I don't really like handles, but duct tape is so handy when it comes to things. But that's not duct tape. That's actually a gorilla tape. My mistake. Sorry about that, guys. As you can see, I have used it. Want to try it out? It's a shame these this one here don't fit in one of these small foil bags, so it might have to go into one of my large ones. If you haven't seen my what happens to a foil rod in 30 days in water, that would be up in the corner as well. Check that out if you would like to. So there's that one there. Two things left. I know three things left. I have my pocket bellows, another one. I do like these, I do prefer these, and I do recommend them. We all know what pocket bellows is. It's basically where you push, push some oxygen into the fire to make the fire burn hotter. 
I do have a confidence um, pencil sharpener if it focuses. There we go. I do have one of these large ones. I do like it. I don't know if it's going to stay in the kit or what yet. I don't know. But for some reason, that's a stone, sharpening stone. I don't know why there's a sharpening stone on this. So, yeah. And I do have a nice striker to go for the, with the fur rod. I do prefer strikers over than using the back of my knife. So, yeah. That's everything, guys. What goes in this pouch? You see, there's the money shopping. As I said to you before, it does go into my inch modular system on my hook sack. And if I don't have, if I don't, if I need to get rid of those two large pouches, I can take this one out plus another pouch out. Plus the other pouch, I can take them, I can take all three of these out, and I can stick these at the bottom of my rucksack on the Molly Redman at the bottom of my rucksack. I will show you that if you would like. That being the pole thing in the corner as well. Okay, right, that's everything, guys. As you can see, all empty, all gone. Right, that's everything, guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this will be a good video for you guys to watch. Um, tell me what you think, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you. Bye bye.